to become that girl you need to create habits that could further become a lifestyle now i am not here to make you feel like your life is inadequate because you don't have a routine or your life is not organized as it should be no i'm actually here to encourage you to do the little things you don't need to follow a 20 step morning routine every day to be able to be that girl you just need to gradually make small changes that would build into habits which eventually help you grow and help you show up as the best version of yourself so start small and then make it big and you can become that girl at any time of the year not only at the beginning of the year So, no. what simple habits can you start to create today that would help you become that girl? Number one, not using your phone in the morning. I've noticed that always using your phone in the mornings always leads to hourless scrollings and by the time you're done, it's pretty hard to get back to the rhythm of the day. A better habit would be for you to actually spend time in bed for a few minutes, probably listening to music or basically in your silence. Being in your silence or listening to music can help you gather your thoughts and structure your mind on how your day should go. Number two, spend time studying the word and praying. We have observed that by doing this every morning, it helps to set the tone on how the day would go. By reading the word, God can give you a word for you for the day. By praying, you have the opportunity of relaying all your frustrations to God and having the peace to eventually keep up with whatever it is because God's got you. You can then approach the day feeling more good about yourself. Number three, journaling. Now, this is the point where I'm supposed to tell you to create a vision board. But because I don't do that, I won't tell you to do that. What works for me is journaling. Journaling has helped me structure my motivations, expectations and actions. It has also helped me to relay my frustrations. So there are three things that I want you to write in your journal. Number one, your expectations and motivations. This explains what you want out of life, what your goals are and what you're working towards. Number two, steps to achieving what you want with time limits attached to each step to ensure that you are actually one step closer to achieving your dreams. Number three, writing the letter of congratulation and writing the date you wrote that letter. This is a way of speaking into your future and manifesting all these good and amazing things to yourself. Years later, when you read that letter and find out how almost everything has come to pass, it would make you appreciate the power of what you declare over yourself and your faith in God. Number four, plan out your day. I have noticed that when I have a lot to do in my head and I do not create a to-do list, it is very likely that I will end up not achieving everything that I have set out to achieve for that day. Planning out my day and creating a to-do list helps to create a structure about what my day would look like and the targets that I would like to reach. Number five, eliminate distractions. It's no secret that most times our phones are our biggest distractions. What has helped me is that when I need to focus on work, I throw my phone away. This might be very drastic or dramatic, but depending on how urgent what I want is, I actually throw my phone away. If phones aren't your distraction, please take out time to identify what your distractions are and ways to eliminate those distractions. Number six, develop yourself. Spend time on your self-development. The results we see most times, which are our outputs, I'm mostly born out of the times we spend developing ourselves or working towards something. Spend your time wisely and start to tick off the things on your to-do list and develop yourself. Number seven, take breaks. In between your day-to-day -day activities, please, please, please do not neglect taking breaks. Sometimes you might end up overloading yourself with so much information and overloading your brain by being focused on one thing for a very long time. Sometimes a break might be the one thing that would help you feel very refreshed and energize to carry on with your task number eight remember to leave when trying to achieve everything that you want for yourself please remember to leave take some time 
go on solo dates if possible go out with friends and family do whatever you find fun also remember to embrace where you're currently at i hope that after watching this video you would actually take proper steps to build these habits and ensure that you are that girl you can do it i believe in you and i trust that you can do this keep up the good work and i will see you in my next video thank you so much Mwah.